Hey, how's it going? I started driving down here as soon as I saw your text. Sorry I took so long. Traffic was a nightmare. No, no, I was happy to come over. I assumed it was something pretty serious with how frantic you sounded, and I wanted to be here to make sure you were okay. My boss didn't mind me leaving a little early anyway. So, anyway, you know, what's going on? I mean, looking at your eyes, I can... I can tell you've been crying. Oh, no, don't, don't start again. You know I hate to see you upset. <laughs> Come here. Hey, hey. Everything's gonna be okay? Look, whatever it is, we'll sort it out. I've always got your back, just like you've always had mine. I mean, that's what friends are for, after all. Now, come on. Let's sit down for a bit, and you can, you know, tell me what happened. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that you've been sick for a little while. We haven't been hanging out nearly as much as we usually do because of it. I was beginning to, you know, worry about you. I figure you've found out why you've been feeling so crappy. Okay, is it something serious? Getting a little freaked out over here. You're not dying. Okay, well, thank God for that. So, are you going to tell me or do I need to keep guessing? Oh, it might be easier to show me instead. Well, okay, feel free then. Yeah. This, this is yours, right? And I'm no expert, but I'm assuming the two lines means it's positive? Your pregnancy test is positive, so you're pregnant. Oh. Sorry, I... I need a minute. I really wasn't expecting that. You, you texted me as soon as you took the test? Well, <laughs> good thing I got here when I did. How, how, how are you feeling about it? Pretty scared, huh? I can understand that. Becoming a dad is hard enough. Especially when it happens at a time when you weren't planning it. Hey. Hey, don't talk like that. You can do this. Stop saying you're gonna suck at fatherhood. You're an amazing person with a huge heart and the most beautiful soul. You're so incredibly kind and selfless. Any child would be lucky to have you as their father. I mean, sure, there'll be things to learn and figure out, but you'll get there. I know you will. What about the father? Oh, it's your ex. Well, at least things ended on good terms. I know you two haven't really been in contact much since you broke up, but... I still think it's important that he knows about the baby. I mean, even though the relationship didn't work out, he seems like a you know stand-up guy. Hopefully you're able to co-parent. But even if he does decide to not stick around, you're not going to be alone in this. I'll be with you every step of the way. Doctor's appointments, birthing classes, creating a nursery, the whole nine yards. Don't think you're getting out of me throwing you the best baby shower you could possibly imagine. You're damn right I'm serious. You're my best friend. That's what I'm here for. 
whenever you need me, whatever the need is, I'll be there. That's a promise. And once they're here, the little munchkin is going to be showered with plenty of love from their Uncle Cardlin. Are you... Are you crying again? Oh, happy tears this time. <laughs> Come on, bring it in. No, I don't mind a couple of tears on my shirt. You're going to be fine, okay? This is tough, but I know you're a hell of a lot tougher. You're stronger than you realize. How about I get you out of the house? I think you just, you know, need some time to just clear your head, relax for a little bit. Yeah? All right. How about coffee? Oh, can't have too much caffeine when you're pregnant, right? Sushi then? Yikes, no sushi either. Hmm. Do pregnancy books say anything against watching movies? Sweet. How about we grab an early dinner and catch a movie afterwards? My treat. Of course, we can get all the buttery popcorn you like. I mean, you're eating for two now, after all. Does that sound like a plan? Hmm. Perfect. Now come on, Daddy. Let's head out. 